Three, two, one. Grant Flanders here with K-State Online, here with a special guest, Nigel Pack, 2020 signee, the first signee uh, and first commit of the 2020 class, point guard out of Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, Nigel Pack. How you doing, buddy? Uh, it's great to see you, and uh, it's been a while since we talked, so first just talk is, about uh, what you've been up to. Um. It's just tough, you know, going through this pandemic that we're doing, um, having to stay in the house, but that doesn't really stop much except for not being able to, you know, get in the gym or anything, but still mm -hmm. able to do what I can. I'm um, still working out at the house. I'm just doing this whatever I can that's possible. Um, but, you know, it sucks right now, but everything will be good in the long run. No doubt. So uh, what have you been doing to, to keep in basketball shape while, while all this quarantine stuff's been going on? Um, I give my trainer every, you know, every time um, it's kind of sunny outside or something like that, I can get out. Um, we try to go to like an outdoor court or something where I can get, you know, a little conditioning, like basketball workout in, um, make sure I keep my wind going. Um, just lifting some weights downstairs in my house that I got, like some dumbbells or some natural things. And, um, you know, just getting up shots on my outside court. Um, just doing whatever really, you know, that's supposed to be done. Um, you know, gyms open up here real soon. So, good thing, but right now it's just doing whatever I can. So have you been keeping in touch with, you know, the rest of your commits and the rest of your teammates coming up? I'm sure you guys are itching to get on the court together. Uh, yeah, we keep in touch a lot um, through our group chats. We have a message, Snapchat, all the social media group chats we have. Um, sometimes some of us, we play Call of Duty together at night, um, just building a bond, really. Um, you know, this is probably the best time we can do it right before we get on campus with each other. That makes sense to me. Um, I guess my question is, have you heard anything new on, on a plan of when, you, when you'll be able to get on campus? I know June was when uh, – sometime in June was the plan. Have they, have they pushed that back at all, or is it still tentative they plan on June? Haven't pushed it back yet. Um, I think they're going to, though. I don't really know 100% sure, so you couldn't – um, trust and believe in what I'm saying, but I'm pretty sure they probably will just because of what's all going on. And probably it's not our season yet. Mm -hmm. They probably, I think they're more focused on football right now. So we'll probably maybe late June, early July is what we're looking for, I think. But they have not pushed it back from us leaving June 7th so far. What have, uh, what have the conversations with the coaches been like during this time? Has there been, is it like a Zoom call a week or a couple times a week? Or how's that work? Um, it's like every week and a half, maybe two weeks, we get a uh, we get a text message saying we're having a group FaceTime call with Coach Weber, and um, he'll just tell us really try to feed us with some information, whatever he has. Um, he's telling us that you know the time's going by fast, and we need to prepare now for what we're gonna face this summer because you can't you know wait to the last second to try to get ready. Um, you know, he's just encouraging us to keep doing what we're doing at the house and, you know, be ready for it when our time is our time comes. So we've talked a lot about you and I, and um, we put it out there to the public. You've talked about Luke Kazuki, Davion Bradford, and Celta Miguel, the guys you've signed with back in the fall. But talk about guys, you know, the, the, that K-State has signed since then um, that are coming to join, join you in the squad. All right, first, I I'll, was I'll talking with Siri. Um, me and Siri have, you know, built a really good relationship. Um, uh, he's a really athletic, you know, big guy, kind of three, four position player. Uh, we played against him in the UIBL. Um, so I kind of know him from that a little bit, just playing him playing with uh, Mac Irving. Um, I think he'd be a really good fit just because his size and his, his versatility, um, that he'd be able, you know, be able to stretch out the slower defenders and then, when he gets a smaller guy on him, his athleticism and his size, you know, he'll be able to take him to the post. Um, next, we'll go with Rudy out of Canada. Um, I think he's a really good pickup, especially a Juco um, guy coming in. You know, he got some experience uh, playing college basketball, which would be good with his leadership. Um, I've seen a couple of his, you know, tapes that K-State's posted. He's a really good player. Um, I think that would be good for me and him, you know, we'd be able to pick off each other's brains, you know, learn each stuff from each other. And then we'll be getting the games, you know, it'll be like um, a double attack. Um, then we got Carlton, really big, long guy. Um, 
athletic as well. Gets a whole bunch of shot blocks I've seen on his little mixtapes. Um, I think he'd be really key add, you know, be able to protect around the basket, um, which would be really good um, for us. And then, you know, he has a, a little 15-foot jump shot, you know, that he can use to be able to stretch people out as well. I, You know, I think both you and Rudy are going to be giant – key pieces to this team but what is it what is it like to be as a freshman coming in and have the opportunity to compete for that starting job for K-State um you know it's really good you know that's what everybody wants to do you know they don't want to come in and get to sitting and doing all the hard work that we got to do just not to be able to play so I know that's a good feeling you know to be able to you know have the opportunity to start be able to play get minutes you know learn from other guys um and then be able to be a part of a really good program which is you know a really key for every, a really big dream for everybody. So I, you might have brought it up. Has Indiana opened back up, or is there plans for Indiana opening back up, or anything like that? Um, we still are locked down. I'm pretty sure I haven't really kept up with the news, but I know gyms are opening the 25th of May, right. so that's pretty good. Um, I'll be able to get back inside a gym and not shooting outside. Mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to. But that's really all I know about you know, Indiana being open or not open. I, last thing I got to talk about with you, you, you finished watching the Last Dance documentary at all? I did. I watched all the episodes of my dad. Mm -hmm. um, it was very interesting. It was, it, was, it was really good. I thought it was really good. I finished it Monday, but yeah. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it kind of makes you look at Michael Jordan different just because, you know, I wasn't able to watch him growing up. Yep. So I only got – you know, hear about him. But that documentary, um, I don't know, this made it seem like he was a great, like it makes it seem like nobody's even close to being how good he was. Um, I still like LeBron though, but I don't know, <laughs> it made me, made me feel a different way. Like it makes me feel, that documentary made me feel like he never had a bad game. Like every game it felt like he was going out getting 50, he gets sick, he gets 50, somebody out and he gets 50. Like it doesn't, it's just ridiculous. And you know what? LeBron will have a documentary that will come out in 20 years yeah. that, that, will, that will make it look like he had 50-point games every time out. Right. So, I mean, it, it'll be an interesting discussion later on down the line. I think I'm with you. I think LeBron James, I think a lot of people will agree, is the more, you know, talented, bigger, athletic, basketball player, skilled. But Michael Jordan had that mental. He had that winning mental. Yeah, which is, yeah he like, did. So. But anyway, Bo, uh, anything else you want to say to the K-State fans out there? Obviously, they're super excited about their, their point guard, uh, freshman point guard coming in, Nigel Pack. Um, I just want to say, you know, trust and believe in, in the process that we're going through. Um, I know we're all going to put the work in. We're all going to work hard. And we're all going to be ready for this upcoming season. And uh, go Wildcats. That's right. So, yep, K-State fans, that's your point guard, Nigel Pack, 2020 commit. Thank you for the time, Nigel, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you for having me.